Welcome back to Easy to Spell, where the name is easy to spell, and yet we did it wrong anyway. If you didn't catch us last week, well then, here's what you missed. Tension among the party spiked after the party ascended from Astenos and returned to the Sparrow's Nest. Finding that Yoshta had returned from her adventure to recover Lady Featherweight, Sai confronted the COC about the secrets kept and lack of communication that each of us have been guilty of. After a discussion, we agreed to communicate more clearly if we were to remain together here in Avaris as a team, and proceeded to ready ourselves for the tournament preliminaries that are fast approaching. I didn't know we were going on some mission to find your kids. No, you're right, you didn't. Be nice to know if I'm if I'm going to be going into a dangerous situation like this, to have some information, to be prepared a little bit. I told you guys how dangerous it was down there. And you got the same information we did. We were going to meet Rathmus, and you walked out alive, didn't you? If I'm going to be following you guys, I'm I'm fine helping you find people, but I need a little more information when you go into shit like this. We formed this group out of out of a cook, a company of convenience. That's all we formed this for. And if we want to to make this more than that, then I think there's more shelling that needs to go around than just me and Domen. While most of the group contented themselves with researching information pertaining to our own goals in training and preparation for the tournament, one of the COC set out, party in tow, to check in on Balin Halfhand and inquire about the break-ins he mentioned previously. We found Balin poring over the redone designs that he had lost previously, and thanks to Alvrin, we discovered the designs were not for an observatorium, as we had been led to believe, but some kind of massive laser. Balin fled as soon as he was confronted about this, sealing off the path to follow him and activating a massive golem. This guy was supposed to hold us off. As we defeated the golem, Avern recovered the crystal from its chest that was similar to his own and connected it to his own power supply to keep it active with odd side effects. My intentions were to potentially purchase some items from you, but uh, if you would like some help, I could definitely uh, assist. Um, you're welcome to take a look at the plans. Um, I'm having trouble finding a way to complete the, the solid concentration here. Why are you creating a laser? Uh, sorry, what? It's an observatorium. That's to observe the stars. Correct, but because of this schematic here, this will reverse the energy and send it back. Uh, no, it's a, it's a telescope. And he looks at each of you and he grabs the notes and runs. Deciding that returning to the Sparrow's Nest would be the best course of action, we set out to leave, but not before Domen shattered a magically refilling yard of Marg, the consequences of which we will find out next week.